fuel preparation and first start. Once the installation is complete, prepare the two-cycle oil gasoline mixture. Obtain a gas can, fluid ounce measuring cup, and two-cycle oil. For the bike's first two gallons, the ratio of oil gas is 5.5 ounces per gallon pre-mixed well. This is the break-in mixture to use. After 2 gallons of this break-in mixture is used, the ratio drops to 4 ounces per gallon for the life of the motor. Once fuel is poured into the tank, turn the petcock to on. Closes when the valve is turned 90 degrees. When the motor hasn't been used or when it is cold, the choke lever on the carburetor should be up or two-thirds of the way up. This is full or near full choke. Once the motor warms up, the choke lever should be pushed down to the off position for full power. There is a sweet spot position for the choke lever where it prefers to start. You will need to test and adjust where this preferred position is when first starting the motor cold. Remember that it will be somewhere up. Make sure that the clutch is pulled in and pinned before mounting and riding the bike. This disengages the motor and allows you to get the bike moving before starting the motor. The bike must be in motion before starting the motor. When ready to ride, pedal and get the bike in motion with decent speed. To start motorization, keep pedaling but pull in and let out the clutch while at the same time twist the throttle. Remember that if the motor doesn't start, the choke might need to be adjusted a little up or down. Adjust and test as necessary to start the motor. If your motor shuts off when the clutch is pulled in, the idle might be too low. Increase the idle by turning the idle screw clockwise. Once the motor starts for the first time, pull in the clutch. The motor will idle, but the motor will be disengaged. You are now in pedal mode. Rev the motor by turning the throttle a few times to warm it up. Put the choke down all the way after a minute of warming the motor up. Once you have tested the bike to make sure that it rides properly, now you can go ahead and get started on setting up to motorize. After you put the gas inside your gas can, you need to go ahead and open up your fuel line to this pet cock. When this pet cock is parallel to the line of flow, you're on. So the gas is going to go through into your fuel filter into the carburetor. This lever is called a choke. And when the bike or the motor has not been uh, started and warmed up. In other words, when it's cold, you need to have the choke all the way up or close to all the way up in order for it to start. The motor is not going to start when it's cold when the choke is all the way off. So the choke has to be up or close to two-thirds of the way up. Once you have that setting, you need to go and make sure that the clutch is pulled in and pinned. Right? so that you can go ahead and ride the bike uh, normally when it free wheels. Once you have those settings, you're going to go ahead and get on the bike, you're going to go ahead and pedal to get the speed of the bike up. When you're ready, you're going to go ahead and keep pedaling, but pull in and let out the clutch, like so. Pull in, let out. Keep pedaling. And at the same time, turn the throttle. Milk the throttle, and you're going to be waiting for spark, you're going to be waiting for explosions, you're going to be waiting for combustion. Feeling inside that motor. 
And once you feel that you're fully motorized, you can stop pedaling and just turn the throttle. Once the motor has been started for the first time, allow it to idle for 5 minutes without riding the bike. Stop the motor by pressing the kill switch. Let the motor cool for 30 minutes before starting again. Okay, once you get the bike on, you can go and allow the motor to idle. And that's done by pulling in that clutch and pinning it. You don't want to go and start riding the bike immediately after you start it. You want to go and let it idle. Okay? This is the best practice to uh, starting up your motor. Let it idle for about five minutes. In other words, let the motor just run without it. it taking you anywhere. You can adjust the idle by turning this thumb screw. If you want more idle, turn it clockwise. You can hear the motor revving more, allowing more air and gas into the motor. And if you want less idle, you can unscrew it. There's two other places that you can adjust the idle. One is the carburetor cap. You can adjust it by screwing it up to take away slack, to pull up that piston inside the carburetor to give you more idle, or screw it down. You can also adjust the idle through this throttle assembly by unscrewing it out to take away slack and give you more idle. So there's three places to adjust the idle. So you want to go ahead and make sure that this bike, once started, idles for about five minutes, then let it cool off after after uh, after five minutes of idling, let it cool off for 30 minutes, and then you can go ahead and start riding the bike. After you go ahead and start the bike, you can set the choke lever down for more power. If you keep it up or if you bring it all the way up, your bike might stall out. So go ahead and put your choke lever all the way down during the idle. When you are riding, make sure that the choke is fully down after you get the bike warmed up so that you get, uh, get full power out of the motor. If it's up, you're going to go ahead and not get full power. So once you warm the bike up, make sure the choke is down. Once cooled off, you may start the motor again. Remember to adjust the choke as necessary to start the bike. Anytime you need to turn or slow down, always pull in the clutch to disengage the motor and go back into bike mode. If the bike is idling and you want to motorize again, keep the clutch pulled in and pedal to get the speed up. Then slowly let the clutch out while at the same time turn the throttle. Remember that the bike always needs to be in motion to start and maintain motorization. Anytime the bike slows down without the clutch pulled in, the bike will stall out and shut off. It is best not to run the bike at high RPMs, especially in the break-in period. Do not motorize more than 30 minutes continuously before letting the motor cool off for 30 minutes. Next video, part 16, chain inspection and safe riding tips.